What's up, Video Fort Nation, my party people? I am Magic Bard, and for today's new epic tutorial, we're gonna be going through one of Logan Paul's music videos that he just released, I think it was yesterday or two days ago, The Fall of Jake Paul, where he uses this kind of cool stabilization effect on his face, and this, I think, came from a couple music videos from the past, one of my favorites, T-Pain and Chris Brown's best love song. Now if you watch this video there's a lot of um, a lot of green screen. T-Pain used to use a lot of visual effects in his music videos but in the best love song you can see a lot of this stabilization where instead of stabilizing the background he stabilizes his face. But if you guys are new to Video Fort definitely hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon right next to it. That way you guys can be notified whenever we put out a new tutorial on Video Fort and become a new epic visual effects artist. With that being said, guys, let's jump into the tutorial and check it out. All right, guys, so let's check this out. What we're gonna do is take your clip. So, you know, find a clip that, you know, your singer, your rapper, your whatever it is, musician, and try to make sure when you shoot this that their head is close to the middle. Now, I know the whole point of the effect is that their head is moving around and that kind of stuff, so when you're filming this with the camera or whoever your cameraman is, make sure that their camera is keeping their head in the middle or as much in the middle as possible. And that will help out with the effect. So let's take your clip and drag it into a new composition and now how most people stabilize footage is they use the warp stabilizer and you can do this in Premiere Pro um, that's what you would usually do for a faster workflow now on this effect we want to stabilize the motion of the footage but we want to stabilize it on the actor or actress's head okay now when you apply a warp stabilizer what it's going to do is take the background footage try to stabilize that and create almost like a dolly effect. Now, we're gonna stabilize her head, meaning everything in the background is going to be bouncing up and down as she is moving her head up and down, right? So we're gonna go into stabilize motion, and we're gonna take the tracking point and try to find any point on her head that you think would be a good track, so, um, you know, eyes, mouth, even nose, but it'll be kind of hard to track her nose on this one. And then I would just start tracking forward. And so once you have your tracker point on, just go ahead and track forward on it and just make sure that tracker point sticks on the position you put it at. Before we move on, I just want to say a couple of quick things about the tracker tool. So when you have your tracking point, this small inner square is the point that you're tracking. And then the bigger square is what After Effects is going to use to analyze the footage of where that small square went in the future frames. So in the next frame. So if you have a lot of movement, you're going to want to make this outer square larger and it'll be easier for After Effects to track. If you don't have a lot of movement, you can make this one smaller and the tracking will take less time, or After Effects will take less time to um, track things because there's a lot of data in this square, so there'll be a lot going on. Um, so I hope that explains the tracker really quickly. Okay, so once you've created your track, go ahead and apply that you're going to apply it to the layer, press OK. And now what it's going to do is it's going to stabilize your footage based off of the point you tracked it at. So I did the eye. So technically the eye should be stabilized, which it is. As you can see, the whole frame is moving around while keeping that eye, the left eye, tracked and centered. And this is the crux of the effect. Basically, that is it. Now, on Logan Paul's videos when he does this and other 
uh, music videos, sometimes you'll see the camera zoom in and then the effect takes place. And that is because of what's happening here. So you can see all of this background that we don't want, which would um, eventually be just a black background. So what we want to do is either zoom into the clip so you can press S and zoom in until it goes away. Okay. And then of course, um, zoom in some more and keyframe it, you know. And so kind of how I would do this is find out where it dips out and then I would keyframe that. So I'd start that here, go to the bottom of the dip, add a keyframe, go to the end where it goes back in and keyframe. And then I would zoom in on this middle one. So there'll be like a little pop in there. So zooms in, zooms out, okay, and then I would do that every time we have this situation going on, okay? And that is kind of how you can um, deal with these background layer situations. I wanna show you a little little thing that I did here. So um, same, same clip. Now, sometimes what you'll see in Logan Paul's videos is when he's using this effect, it's really jaggedy around the edges and stuff's going on. Now to do that, you can, you know, once you've did your scale keyframes and made sure you've gotten all those black spaces out of the way, what I would also do is hit R for rotation and you can alt click on the rotation and then you can do a thing called wiggle. So that'll wiggle the transformation and really you can turn it up a lot. So just type in W-I-G-G-L-E and then parentheses and add, let's see, probably do 30 comma five and parentheses. So what that'll do is 30 times a second, the rotation will wiggle five pixels back and forth. Okay, so then hit enter and let's see what that looks like. So I'm gonna hit N here and then preview it. And so what should happen now is the frame should wiggle around her tracked eye. And then this is what you get. So, you know, if you're a big Logan Paul fan, you've probably seen this effect whenever he zooms in on his face and stuff starts to go really crazy on the edges, but his head is relatively stabilized in the center. That is how you can do something similar. And then of course you can really play around with this one. Um, in T-Pain's best love song, sometimes they tracked the person's hand. Okay, the hand movement in, you know, some of the fans in the in the audience, they would uh, track their hand and, and as it was going up and down, the can it looked like the camera was following the hand. So, you know, really play around with tracking different pieces of the frame and then guys, you'll be good to go. All right, guys, I hope that tutorial helped you out. And if it did, please leave us a like and leave us a comment. Let us know what visual effects you wanna learn. If there are any videos on social media that you want to know a little movie magic trick on how people did it or in the movies, we can try and check those down and get you a tutorial up as soon as possible. Now with that being said, I want to give a shout out to Sam for leaving us some love on that head explosion tutorial. Thanks a lot guys, really appreciate what you guys have to say. Remember, like, subscribe, comment and share, love to hear from you and that's it for today. I'll see you on the next one.